y'all besties. I hope I was with you guys and I hope y'all having a beautiful day. So, bye. what's up, Tories? Get in here, get in here, get in here, boo. So, why I feel like some of y'all could be plotting on how you finna get your lead back. I mean, that get back is a motherfucker. And it's not like just about, you know, just revenge. I feel like a lot of y'all trying to see how you finna come shitting on people or shitting on someone, a specific person, okay? And it's because, like, people play with you a little too much. Towards, I feel like somebody played with you, took you for granted. It's just like, I'm finna come back. Just, or you just, like, you know, after the, you know, like, defendants are uh, rising from the actions. You're just like, you know, I, I played it first, but now she's back. You know what I'm saying? I can't, look, what is song that, what did it look sound kind of bad? I just came back from the dead girl, and you still like that girl. Hold on. I just came back from the dead, and, and you still ain't that girl. Or some shit like this is like... A rebirth. I'm getting like a death and rebirth. Somebody could be going through a transformation. Or somebody could be going through a spiritual awakening. Stuff like that. Okay? A death and rebirth. It said, in a situation you keep thinking about. It said, uh, in reliving. What did you want to happen different? Sometimes you got to uh, give yourself closure for real. For real. And it said, you are being judgy. So, I feel like a lot of y'all could be being too hard on yourself. Or you could have. And it's just like, um, or you could have been dealing with somebody that could have been very judgy as well. I feel like some of y'all could attract somebody that could have judged you a lot or very judgy. It was because you might gave off kind of judgy, very judgy. Somebody could have mirrored you. I feel like you, it's like you finna get, it's like getting your lick back. But I feel like it's like in the, uh, my friend put me on this song. I forgot the name of it. It's something about, um, she said she just get dressed now for revenge. I don't dress for men. I don't dress for women. Lately, I've been dressing for revenge. Hey, I don't start shit, but I can show you how it ends. It's a white girl. I forgot how did she go. I like this song. It's just like, that energy giving me. Like, it's like, look, I ain't start shit. Oh, yo, so you want to play. Oh, you wanted to treat me like I was like I was a regular, like like I was a nobody. Okay, just watch and see. So y'all yeah, might be getting your get back when you get the next level. It's like looking good, but it's like with you, like your revenge is how your appearance is or your glow up, how you change your clothes, how you the things you wear, the uh the things you do, the the hairstyles, the looks is giving very much model. Period. Cut up then, friend. Okay, it's giving very much like scrumptious, like Diva, like it's like give it, like you want, you want, you get your lick back type shit. Try to see what else. What else? Oh yeah, I can't wait to um fix my my food for the I gotta get ready for the mall. How ready? That will make Cinco de Mayo and shit on a Sunday. I'm gonna go home and get lit up too, but and get my and enjoy my last off day, my only off day. So let's get into it. What else? It's so ugly outside. My city. Look, it said take off the mask and someone likes you. This is so. Spirit can be telling you too, like when you might be attracted to somebody who really don't want to hurt you, Tories, or trying to. They ain't trying to be on no sneaky stuff. And Spirit saying, Spirit could be saying it's time for you to um. Like, know when to take the mask off. You know what I'm saying? As in, like... Because I feel like some of y'all might be putting a new mask on. And Spirit's saying, like, you might be attracting somebody authentic and real. So, make sure you're taking that mask back off as well. Like, Spirit... I don't think Spirit wants you to do that. It's like, do that, but I don't get too much up in that energy. It's okay to, you know, give you a, boost your ego, raise your vibration. And, you know, like, raise your confidence a little bit. Also, you know, know when something real coming in. You see what I'm saying? Know when something real. Oh, shit. What else? Look, it said it's better to conquer yourself than win a thousand battles. So, yeah, something about an ego. Like, some of y'all, y'all might want to do some shit to somebody. Like, it's like being petty. Also, make sure you're not using somebody else just to get back at somebody else's will. It's saying no one is perfect. Stop focusing on your flaws. So is that get this energy from y'all a lot? It's something with confidence issues. It's something that always like some of y'all like to be spiteful. It's like, oh, you use your looks for the wrong reasons. Or it's like you don't feel you don't feel the way you look. 
you don't feel you don't act the way you look for some of y'all or it's just like you don't got to be a mean girl or a mean person or uh you know negative vibe or whatever you know like uh you get when you got to match energy like it's like being manipulative like using your using your gifts or whatever this is for get back type shit like some of y'all can be very manipulative for some of y'all you might know how to get your way, okay? But you might be, you got to be careful because you might be cross, stepping on the wrong feet. You know what I'm saying? Because how people treat you is their karma. How you react is yours now. What you do back, what goes around, comes around type shit, okay? So what else? I ain't going to lie, I ain't going to baby. Do Virgos up here. Because I'm getting a little sleepy. I might do this a little later. I'm going to have to Remember saying you overlooking your, your um, you said, are you overlooking something? And I heard your ego and your pride. Tori, some of y'all can be very hard-headed. You do not listen to your spirit team. Some of y'all like to go listen to other people. Somebody could be giving y'all some bad-ass advice right now. If, they, if you want to overpour in anyone, I doubt it to be yourself. I feel like a lot of y'all go super hard for somebody. And it's like, when I don't do it in return, some of y'all might feel I'm going to be petty. Want to be spiteful. Want to go get low down. Somebody might want to take a car back from somebody. Or do some to a car. Because you could hear about it. I'm seeing a feminine doing some low down shit to somebody. Like vandalism. Or just like, you know, out of spite. I'm gonna be very spiteful. I'm gonna get some narcissistic energy too, Taurus. That's not gonna be for everybody. They can say, ask others for help sometimes. Like, if you are struggling with something mentally and stuff like that, you got, it's okay to tell somebody you're going through something. It's like a lot of y'all might people please a lot. Like, you run for other people, and then when they don't run for you, now you in, you in your chest, now you mad, now it's just like. But Taurus, you got to be responsible for Taurus. Like, you got to know what's what, when to run for somebody and when not to. And the people don't run for you, why you keep on running for them? It's like you building this resentment up in your chest and your heart about something that's out of your control, Taurus. You can't control other people's part. All you can do is control your own. Okay, look, so don't listen to others. Projection is real. Somebody giving somebody else some horrible-ass advice right now. And it's going to lead you more into trouble. Somebody might be going out there trying to get their own negative attention. I'm seeing a, a woman doing negative stuff. Like trying to use their body, use something to get back. But it's like, it might be like, I mean, you losing respect or something like this. It's not going to be for everybody. Like, be careful, y'all, with it. Yeah, they say you're not going backwards. But I remember, but you're not going forward either. Look at this, stop finding faults. Something about sitting in victimhood, and this is what's going to keep you stuck, y'all. What thing you get away with stuff just because somebody else did something to you? Yeah, they say you are a queen, a uh, queen, act like it. Like some of y'all, spirit saying somebody could be acting like a peasant a little bit or acting um, very low vibrational. It's not going to be everybody. Okay. Look at this, don't match negative people's energy. Yeah, yeah, I gotta quit making. Let's see if you have. It said you have to die a few times before you really live. So some of y'all, it's okay taking L stories. I feel like some of y'all might be overthinking a L or overthinking a situation that's out of your control. You know what I'm saying? If somebody is not reciprocating the same energy that you are, so it's time for you to be able to walk away. If you're not happy where you are at, baby, it's time to walk away. Okay, you got to know what's enough for you. You got to know when it's enough, Taurus. Other people can't tell you that, okay? You have to know it. You got to do what's best for you. My bad, y'all. Being a no, these people working out and shit. I ain't walk out. I do too much walking at work. I ain't trying to do shit. They say hurt people, hurt people is a scam. Check yourself. Yo, it's time to check yourself. 
And that excuse is not going to work anymore, Taurus. Spirit saying it's time to swoop in front of your door, okay? And it's time to do things that make you happy. You gotta know what make you happy, though. Okay? What else? Any advice for Taurus who I close this session out? Any advice for Taurus? It says sometimes we got to give up on someone not because you don't care, it's because they don't. And it says you are being yourself up over something that's out of your control. If you can if you can't control it, then what are you waiting on? So some of y'all it's like if you can't control it, why are you keep on finding folks? I mean spirit said I'll wait. Because it's like you got you you got all the reason you got all the proof right there showing you um that you are a blessed tourist. You you are lovable. You are like motherfuckers that can be replaceable. Like you can replace some a, a motherfucker who ain't doing right by you. But it's like y'all sticking and choosing, sit in a situation where you have more opportunities to, to, to explore. You have the resources. You have the you have the wisdom. You have the knowledge. You got the strength to walk away from somebody. But it's like you keep it's like somebody keeping in their mind sticking certain situations. And ain't nobody but the devil. Okay, like I said, sometimes that when it says sometimes we gotta give up on someone, it's because like if somebody is not giving you what you need, or something not giving you what you need, then what is keeping you connected to it? What is you what is what, what is being told to you? What is being brought to you to make you wanna stay there? Because it's another battle with the enemy. Cause some of y'all got all every reason why you can leave somebody. And I feel like they give you more reasons to leave than to stay. Like I say it's better safe than sorry. And I feel like a lot of y'all are choosing to ease around. And it's like Sitting on your feelings, act like 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 you ain't bothered about something, okay? So let's see what's going on. Like spirit saying, it's time to choose what do tourists want to do? What do tour? What make tourists happy? I feel like some of y'all don't know what makes you happy, and this is what keep you in situations that don't make you happy because y'all don't really know what truly make you happy. But you gotta get to know tourists. Look, say, listen to yourself more. Your heart tell you, your heart try to lead you, but it's like you be, you be telling your heart you get the hell out of my face. In your heart, like, well, I'm just trying to tell you that we're not happy here. I'm just trying to tell you this time to leave. It's an ego problem. It's like, are you moving uh, through ego? I'm trying to tell you that somebody's handling us roughly. Like, it's like, like this, they don't know how to handle me. Your heart I'm trying to tell you. It's not handling it good. This person steady leading it out. Okay? So... Let's get to it. So what's coming towards my Taurus, my single Tauruses? Some of y'all got to be careful with lustful situations. Y'all might, I told you why it's good to know, you know your worth too. Some of y'all also could be attracting somebody who could be tired of pain. They could be tired of going through the same okadote, same bullcrap. What else going to come towards Taurus? And the single Taurus is in love. I if you uh I um I if you until you tap out as the first card came out, some sexual. What else? When else coming to us tours, the single tours and little Y'all gotta be careful. This is why it's good. Uh, you gotta be careful what you present. Because I've been watching you for a while. Somebody give me somebody give me creep vibes. What is this? Like somebody could be lust, um lusting after you tourists. Look, I leave them for you so they can be with somebody. So them not the type of motherfuckers you want anyway. This ain't this don't give me a good divine. Cause this ain't don't give me a it's give me like a player energy. I don't get oh this the one type of energy of this. Have we met before? Somebody might be a karmic or a twin flame or some shit from a past life. Something about something make somebody feel like home. You gotta be careful. Better tell me they'll leave somebody for them. Some of y'all, y'all might be required to leave somebody alone. You ain't about to deal with, with little Tyrone on the side for, with this person. That's for some of y'all. I ask myself, are you worth the risk? But some of y'all is giving me like I got like a player coming towards y'all. I don't know why. Somebody who damn near like my, you know, look, I'm still at a crossroads. They don't still know what they want. Look, they say, I'll lead them for you. I'm still at a crossroads. You got to make sure somebody's ready for you. Look, scared you might hurt me. Do you know how many people that's in their energy? They could be, they have the potential to be a good lover. But the thing is, are they? Or are they going to choose to do that? What else? It says, scared you might play with me. 
Somebody could be very confused for any of you. It's just like, if you don't know what you want in life, I mean, y'all gonna have to stand on your ground. You ain't gonna just accept something. Like, some of y'all might ain't gonna want to accept these. And if you do, this person might, you know, might, you know, end up getting, you might end up getting hurt in the midst of this because it's somebody who still don't know exactly what they want. They haven't made their mind up yet. You have, a, uh, you are hard to read and it's bothering me. This somebody who want to know what you're about. This might be somebody who's scared to take risk or they might just be in the energy right now or they haven't made the decision yet of what do they want. This might be somebody who, but I get like somebody's dealing with somebody else. Just give me like a third party situation. And they, they might like to cheat from time to time on a level. Okay, look. He said, you are so different, and I'm going to make you fall in love. Yeah, it's like giving, like, a lustful-ass connection. They don't get it. I'm just sorry to it. just don't give me nothing more. It's giving, like, oh, uh, look, this is a good coochie, fat dick. We the perfect match. It's scared to take uh, take your own risk. So that's why they see what they're comfortable with. And just think about it. If they're not happy with you, they're going to continue doing something. They're going to do the same thing to you. This somebody don't know what they want. Yeah, it said licking on your body everywhere. It's a lustful. It's like a lustful situation. Somebody who only just want a little sex. A lie to you like they really want to sign things on the whole. I might leave a little ash, but a little ash has been there forever. Yeah, third party situation, my team. They give you all they want, but it's like somebody like it's like hush money for some of y'all. This might be somebody that's older. Yeah, it said you look so eatable. Y'all give me, y'all give me, it's like giving me like a creep, but slash pervert. I don't know, I choose you. But just be careful, y'all. Because this is somebody who's still dealing with somebody else. They like to sell people dreams just to get what they want out of motherfuckers too. And what I tell y'all, Tori, what I was feeling earlier, this could be going on with you because you could have did it with other people, okay? Like karma for some people, okay? Is that we haven't met yet, but I'm coming. But they're going to they're gonna look very charming. They're going to look very polished up. You know what I'm saying? It might be somebody that could be, um, oh, I heard actri actri actress. Or this could be just somebody in the spotlight. They might get a lot of recognition. If for some of y'all, this could be an ex, they want to turn their way back. Spin the block. But I get like y'all, I, I got a, a player coming in. It's not real divine love to me. It is like it's supposed to be a sneaky link. And I just end up catching feelings. So, hey, we might well, what, what can we do with these? What we going to do about these feelings? What? Like, some of y'all might be finding out that this person got somebody. Because so they're not going to tell you. Or they probably ain't going to even mention another person. I don't know, you gotta be careful with it, okay? So, for real, I hope y'all take what resonate and leave what do not. And I'm sorry, you lady friend. Make sure y'all enjoy your holiday or y'all weekend, okay? People are gonna label you, it's how you overcome those labels. That's what matters. <laughs>